everyone is like worried about the wrong stuff. My life is not perfect. I really like lost like what I wanted to do and the way I really knew I lost my way was Let me show you how to keep the dice rolling when you're doing that thing over there. Hey, let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. Is it even recording? Oh my god, this is so hard. It's recording. My Okay, I was trying to film this in my driveway and my neighbor was out and nothing wrong with her. She's super nice, but I just, I can't film videos when she was like looking at me because I was just sitting in my car. So I was like, relocate. So I go somewhere else. I don't know how I did this before. I don't know how people record themselves without flip screens. Anyway, so I go to a different location. There's like kids playing on the playground. Good thing they're focused on that because if they're looking at me like at all, I would not be able to do this. But I know who is probably looking at me is the police officer over there. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I've just not had the best encounters with them, I guess you could say. This weekend, actually, I'm, I don't know why I did this, like, I don't know, like, what in my right mind thought I should say this. So there's, like, a police officer. But for some reason, I was like, maybe it's not a police officer. I don't know what I was thinking, because it was obviously a police officer. Like, you had the, like, I don't know what it's called, the thing over you, or it's like, I think it's, like, the shield from, like, bullets. Anyways, I, I go up to this police officer, walk up to him, and I say, Are you a police officer? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Why would I say that? I can't believe I said that. Anyways, into the video. My name, just kidding. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Today's video is, well, I was gonna just do like a playlist video, but I really just need to talk, get some stuff off my chest, say a few things. Like this video is not organized. I was thinking of making bullet points going off of them, but I'm just gonna ramble. So kind of like how my life's been going lately and everything. And on top of everything, my videos lately, most of the time I'm not like this, obviously I'm not gonna be like showing all the bad parts, but my videos lately have just been like, oh, the good things and like Tori's happy and you know like everything's good yada 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 the point of this video is not for me to be, like complain be negative and all that stuff this is just how my life's been going and what happens behind the scenes i've been getting a lot of comments on my videos for people who uh, watch most of my videos just a lot of comments saying like oh like your life's perfect you have so many friends you're always so happy like everything along those lines nothing against anyone who commented any of those things first of all if you comment those things like you're just trying to comment something nice i'm not I'm not mad at the people who commented those, but I really just wanted to talk about what really goes on. My life is not perfect, and if you don't get anything out of this video, I want y'all to get out that social media is not the full picture and it's not real life. So when you go on social media and you see their perfect body, they're doing like all this fun stuff, like all these friends, like all this, that's not really how it is. I can say that like, everyone goes through highs and lows in their life. Social media is not perfect representation of everything and I'm gonna try. It's hard because I'm trying to be like positive on here, but I'm also trying, I'm trying to show you all unfiltered, you know, like what actually happens so it's kind of hard to do both so i'm gonna try my best but i'm gonna try more to share real stuff and like stuff that happened kind of like go into stuff without going into big detail i'm not really trying to like call anyone out in this video or anything but a lot of the issues i have had lately has been with different people but i'm gonna explain kind of what's going on so i don't even know where to start i want to say like last year the week before i remember i was of course filming my week of my life and everything i remember one night i was like so upset i started crying i have not cried in like a long Long time you know, like there's some stuff that obviously upsets me but like nothing i don't know i just haven't cried in a while so like when that happened i was just kind of like i don't know i guess this was like kind of the start of it i really don't remember like what made me start crying and sometimes i'm like wondering if it's like something happened or if it's just like my emotions it was just kind of i didn't really expect i didn't really know what to do but i didn't really think of it as a big deal if that makes sense because stuff happens my moods go up and down especially me like more than anyone my moods go up and down i remember I almost put on my camera and was like started like talking but I was like I don't want to be a negative person like I don't want people to think I'm like trying to get attention crying on camera you know but at the same time I'm trying to be related so I'm just like I'm torn anyways so that happened I don't really know what exactly happened next but I started having some I would say some issues with some people. I really have been trying to work on like my problem. Like when I have problems with people, like resolving them, if that makes sense. I've been really trying to focus on, especially like when I'm upset, not saying like hurtful things towards people. And if like I am upset, more focusing on like, well, I feel like this, I feel like this instead of like attacking other 
other people. Anyways, I just try more to focus. I'm upset. Something's going on with someone else. Like, I just try to apologize. Try to be the bigger person and apologize. Like, I don't think it's really worth losing friendships over something, like, small. My biggest problem lately has just been with, like, disrespect from people. That's kind of when it crossed the line for me. I honestly, I normally let people walk all over me, do whatever, blah, blah, blah. I don't say anything. I don't stand up for myself. Lately, I've been standing up for myself. I've been trying, like, really hard because it's just, like, honestly what I should do. I started just standing up for myself. Honestly, I don't want to say I lost a ton of friends, but, like, I lost friends because of it. But I still, like, sit here and debate back and forth about it because it's just, like, I feel I can have all these friends if I don't say anything and I just want to stand up for myself. Other people walk all over me. But, like, once I stand up for myself or say something, it's, like, no one wants to be friends with me. And with, like, other people, this is, like, multiple things. Okay, I guess I'm just not, I'm just gonna sit here and let them, like, call me names or whatever. Which is really frustrating, but honestly, I just feel, I don't want to say all, but, like, most of my friends I have right now, I could be friends with them in, like, a few years or five years. It just doesn't feel like it's working, and I definitely don't feel like where I want to be at with anything, especially mentally. And a big part of your mental health is the people you choose to surround yourself by. I really want to surround myself by people that want, well, first of all, like, have good intentions, because even that now, nowadays it's really hard to find so like having good intentions and people who like care about other people and want to like help people i get it you got to be selfish because that's my thing is i have a hard time being like selfish and like putting myself first because i'm always like trying to help other people i'm going out of my way to try to help people it's just really hard because everyone is like worried about the wrong stuff on top of that i'm not saying you don't want to look good but people are just worried about how they look what someone else has or they have or what kind of clothes they wear like the car they drive like it just seems like it's really hard to find people that have good value I'm just really trying to focus on the right stuff i don't know i feel like i'm getting into the habit of like like i'm so worried about like how my body looks and it's good to be healthy and have like you know a good looking body and stuff and to exercise and stuff but like that is not everything like i just feel like i really like lost like what i wanted to do and the way i really knew i lost my way was I have my chalk wall and I, I don't know how long ago but I remember I wrote in there I was like these are my life goals at the time on there it was like write a bestseller which is not a big deal open a store with like what was I was doing with thrifting like what I was passionate about help the homeless like foster slash adopt kids spread christianity i remember at the end it was like help people change the world like there's other stuff too but that was like the gist of it and i'm just like i have completely lost like that's what i want to do in my life is help people and i'm not saying i'm like an angel but like i just want to help people because there's so many people struggling in my mind i just don't see the point of like spending money on like stuff that doesn't matter i'm not saying i don't like clothes and stuff i do but i'm gonna spend all my money on clothes spray tans fixing my body doing that making me look like so pretty even though it's like not natural and i'm gonna spend all my money getting that done i literally could have like used that money or help someone or, like do something that actually matters like it just seems like people don't care about other people i don't mean everyone but the people i'm choosing to surround myself by that's what's going on i don't know i'm just really at this point someone lost my camera so it's really not that big of a deal but like it's just money but it's just like it's really expensive and like i use that every single day i personally think if you lose something on someone you should pay it for fully back i guess i don't know i'm not gonna like assume people are bad because i can't do that but if it was me i would definitely be paying someone the full money back but as i learned people don't really what's the word i've lost a lot of money i don't even say i lost like people are supposed to pay me money and then they don't whatever and lack of respect and sometimes it is a lot of money and like other people would just be like well, let's go jump them let's go do that whatever it's like not even worth it at that point i like to think that it will come back around i'm not saying i wish ill on you for stuff like that but it's just so frustrating because it's not just like one person who's like scamming me out of money it's like a lot of people and it's adding up and before someone says don't let people borrow money whatever i don't let people borrow money i never hand someone money and say like yeah you can borrow this pay me back it's just different ways <laughs> anyways i'm actually really not proud of myself for not crying over this video i don't know i just have to get a lot of stuff off my chest if you're looking for my instagram i deactivated it for now it was just becoming too much at this point and i don't know what it was about it but i honestly wanted to deactivate all my social media accounts but i didn't want people to be worried about me also i didn't really want to get rid of my tiktok because i've been focusing on posting and i'm going to have to post videos on there so i didn't delete it because the i just couldn't delete it basically i couldn't delete tiktok yeah i deactivated my instagram i'm probably gonna reactivate it for my birthday because i haven't been able to post a picture on my birthday for i think like three or four years it's another story but um if i even like do anything for my birthday but i won't because i don't know at this point i'd much rather have no friends than like all these fake ones
friends. Or like even like one or two real friends and a bunch of fake ones. I don't know what this video was. Since my camera got lost, my SD card, I had I had more than two weeks worth of footage, but two weeks worth of footage that I was gonna post Wednesday and Saturday. So I have to kind of improvise now because the SD card is gone. Someone stole my camera. Thank you whoever did that and didn't turn it in like a good person would. Basically the whole point of this video was to let you know social media is not reality i don't know maybe i'll start doing more talks like this i just don't think like anybody cares but i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe comment any video ideas that you have down below i don't even know what to say like oh yeah i'm not doing a I'm not doing a week in my life this week this camera is just too big it's gonna be hard to carry around and do stuff so yeah that's the end of the video. The next couple of videos are gonna be like sit down videos. I get my new camera. A lot is gonna change these next few months. And I know it. I'm not living like this the rest of my life. And I'm not gonna feel like crap about myself. I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. If you made it to this point, you're a real one. It seems dumb. I see you falling in a rerun.